wasting no time. Now, as fun as, as I'm sure it would have been to have had that celebration and homecoming right out here at Allen Fieldhouse, when you win in the dramatic fashion, that comeback victory that they did last night, well, they had to move it to a bigger venue. Fans packed the west side of Memorial Stadium, eager to catch a first glimpse of the true big men on campus, the freshly crowned NCAA basketball champion. How about your Jayhawks right there? Those Jayhawks players excited to bring the trophy home. We didn't come here to play in the Final Four. We didn't come here to play in the National Championship. We came here to put a banner up in those rafters, and that's exactly what we did. And the Nets, one of them still hanging around David McCormick's neck. We just can't thank you enough. Just rock chalk till I die. Fans thankful, too. Some saying the Jayhawks taught them an important lesson. The, the two greatest comebacks uh, in the history of the NCAA Finals was provided by the Kansas Jayhawks. You know, uh, uh, down nine with two minutes left or down 15 with 20 left. It teaches you to persevere and that it's never over until the buzzer ends. The end to a glorious career for some whose jerseys will no doubt hang in the rafters. When I made my decision to come back this year, this is, this, this is how I envision it. But who left behind moments that will never be erased from fans' minds. It's crazy. I just can't believe it. Like, it's just it really is historical. Quite the photo there. Now, that celebration, fairly short, only about 20 minutes, which is actually about the amount of good basketball that Coach Self joked that the Jayhawks actually played last night. But, Kevin, hey, it was enough to claim the title.